Hello, and welcome to part two of Tom Draws. Uh, last episode, we decided to just take a picture out of our sketchbook and just copy it in, take a picture of it, scan it in your computer, do whatever you felt like, and then just start outlining it with a pen. Just basically, it's not exactly to what I drew originally on the piece of paper. You might be able to see a little bit of markings or something that wasn't there or was there. But essentially, you're just left with that. Just a top layer just for drawing. So in the next episode, we're going to be zooming in on this and trying to add a little bit of shading and color depth to it. So we're just going to name that one Outline. It's a little difficult when you don't have a keyboard. I mean, most of these tablets come with a keyboard. I'm just a cheap ass, so... I got mine at a reduced price because it didn't come with a keyboard. Uh, we'll call that... Pen Black 1. And then we'll lock that so we don't accidentally start drawing on that layer too. And now we start a new layer coloring it in first of all just giving it its basic colors and then we can do the next layer I forgot what order I was going in I'm sorry uh, then we, we just go in with a basic color and then fill so this is supposed to be like an exploding Sun so you can have a blue you can have a red you can have a purple I'm gonna go with green because that's the color of my site text anyway so We'll just see how that looks, and if not, we can just color, we can go into layers and color change the properties. Hang on. Okay, there it goes. Just go into that and change the overall color of it, which is kind of cool in Photoshop, but I'm not sure if other people have that, so pick a few colors, Look, check out how they look. Alright, green looks good. A regular yellow sun. That's bright. I li I kind of like that. Basic red. Oh, by the way, this setup here, if your colors don't look like this, um, it's because I've set it up to only web color. Um, that means that it'll be the colors that are most representative on the web. Like, if you have, like, uh... Like, if you pick, like, somewhere down here, and that's not an actual web color, see, it'll, it'll adjust it for you to one of the swatches that actually exist. Like, it's one of the colors that'll show up on, like, a web page. And then, if you want to mess around with it, um, if you set your brush layer to behind, now these colors will only appear behind the original color. So you can, can try to combine colors to see what you like and dislike. So I'm going to give regular green. I had it in my head, but then I started switching colors. So it's not exactly what you want to start with. It's whatever you want to finish with. Uh, yes, this episode is actually supposed to be about coloring, so let's get to that. All right, so you might want to separate your color layers into separate layers. Oh, God. Um, so I'm going to make this layer... And don't worry about it. We're just going to... It's just the top layer right now. If we switch this to the pen, the pen becomes the top layer. So if you're doing this in, like, uh, Microsoft Paint or something that doesn't have that layering tool, um, I guess my best bet for you would be to just... Um, try to stay in the lines and then go back over it with black. See, because if you were in... If you were in paint, this wouldn't be possible. You'd just be erasing the whole thing. Which, I feel kind of bad for you if you're using paint as, like, a starter tool. I think there are copies of CS2 on the Adobe website that you can just download for free. But they're trial versions. So the catch is that you have to have a serial number. Which means if one of your old art friends, somebody who went to like art school and all that shit, if they have an old serial number code, you essentially get like a $400 program for free. 
So I would suggest trying to do that. <laughs> or just like straight up trying to ask somebody if what the best one online is. I'm sure there's a couple things to check out. I might do a video about what the like when I had no money I was going around and checking other art forms and I eventually settled on Photoshop. I'm not supposed to be filling these in but I'm just chatting you up. See you can just push the fill button and it'll do that for you. Scribbly scrib. But I'm just talking off my off the top of my head and Try not to make these like compressed videos. So I'll actually go ahead and do this quickly. Then just add a little bit of color to your detailing. Just do a few dots there and there and there. Go into your fill tool, fill, fill, fill. You'll notice that there's a little bit of edging you need to go back and fix. Don't worry about that. Just do that quickly. You can zoom in at any time too if you wanna. Don't zoom in too much because then like stuff will start to look pixelated and out of focus and you'll be like, oh, it looks like shit, I hate it, I don't wanna do this anymore. Don't worry about it. That is the main problem when people are trying to draw on a digital medium and they've gotten used to doing like pen and paper and all that nonsense. There's a different system to it. Like, everybody has the same exact system. It's not like you're just screwing it up. It doesn't look right for you. It's that other people have figured out why it doesn't look right for them and have adjusted their style. Uh, let's see. Fit on screen. All right, that's one color. Now I guess since you see on some pictures of the sun, I had it brought up, but then I closed it. So you can look at what you're doing to see if you can make something better or worse about it. So these are like pictures. Oh, I like that one. That is cool. So let's look at this guy. So it looks like there's a few bright spots and a few dashy lines. So it looks like lighter green on some sections. So let's make that a brighter green. Lighter green. Brush, circle, eyedropper tool, same green, darker green for where the light is fading, uh, brush, scribble, alright, so you've got light, dark, and we'll just erase these yellow. Now most of you, you'll just have one palette to work with, so I'm not using this tool to change it back and forth. Oh, you can't even... Oh, wait, you can see it. Hold on. Let me get my head out of the way. Urgh. All right, so you would change the color back and forth like that. But see, most of you don't have this, so I don't really try to use it. If you want me to try to use it, feel free to leave a thing in the comments. Be like, everybody has Adobe at this point, you big doofy. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, so lock that too. 
It's great to lock your layers so you don't accidentally find out that you've been like scribbling for like 20 minutes on the wrong layer and you're just like, no! See, because it'll stop you from doing that.